Hello, and welcome to Super Toad's Q&A Extravaganza Spectacular Show Supreme. This will be the second ever Super Mario Fables Q&A episode, where we, the cast of Super Mario Fables, answer your questions. Yeah, wow. And here to assist me is my lovely assistant, Toad. I was just introducing you. Oh, I, I just thought because you said my name a long like. No. I just. No. I'll show you something long like, bitch. Go back over there to your spot. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, because one of us queefed and shit our diapers, but I'm not going to say which one of us it was. Anyway, today we'll be helping out by hitting a random comment question generator box. And by random, I mean carefully picked comments based on the quality and the relevance of the question. First up is Princess Peach. All right, Toadette, smack that bitch and let's see what the first question is. All righty. <laughs> the first question's from Ethan Campos. Ethan Campos asks Peach, have you ever had an abortion? What? No, of course not. Okay, good thing we have a lie detector test on set. Oh, fine. One day while Mario was plumbing my pipes, he forgot to pull out. So, several days later, I went to go see Professor Egad, and he gave me some news. The next day, I may or may not have accidentally fell down some stairs, landing Peach first into the end of a broomstick. What? Okay, Peach, we didn't ask for a whole f***ing story. Next question! Let's move on to Luigi. <laughs> Mike Sickener has a question for Luigi. Mike says, Luigi, do you like the fire flower better? Or the ice flower? Personally, I like ice. Oh, what a coincidence. The ice flower is my favorite as well, especially on a hot summer day. I can turn anything into ice and cool myself down. Not if I have a fire flower. I'll make sure your shit gets melted. Um, okay. Well, Mario, it was your turn next, but since you're such a rude, interruptive asshole, we're gonna go ahead and skip you and you can wait until the next round, okay? What? That's not to fear. Yeah, neither is the cost of interstellar travel. Let's move on to Shy Guy. Hit the box, you silly pink whore. Uh, I mean, the spore. <laughs> <laughs> Lego Minecraft has a question for Shy Guy. Lego Minecraft says to Shy Guy, what's under your mask? Well, it's kind of a secret. I'm shy. If I told you, I'd have to suck your cock. <laughs> Just kidding. Under my mask is my face, of course, silly goose, which I can still use to suck your cock. Alrighty, we're all going to pretend like we did not hear that. Okay, let's go back to Princess Soggy Peaches. <laughs> Peach's second question is from Joshua Villasor. Joshua asks Peach, how do you fit Bowser in your vagina? Let's go ahead and play a clip of that. Please, I've been holding onto this mega mushroom for a time in desperate need. Give me that shit! Oh, 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 oh princess! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, wait a second. Where did the Bowser exactly go? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling a little sick. I... <laughs> Who the hell picked these? These comic questions. 
questions are completely randomized, Mario. Let's just try again. <laughs> okay, I think we got one. Uh, Mr. Question says, is Mario bitch? Seriously? That doesn't even make fucking sense. Mr. Question can't even ask a proper question. Well, it's close enough to move on. Alrighty, time for Shy Guy's question. <laughs> Mama the Mighty Dwarf has a question for Shy Guy. Oh, what a coincidence. Shy Guy's a dwarf too. Um, I prefer the term small Shy Guy. Bomber says to Shy Guy, vanilla or chocolate. Ooh, that's a stiffy. Oh, I mean toughy. Um, hmm, I guess I'd have to say it depends on what mood I'm in and what I'm looking it off of. If I'm looking it off of a fat, juicy dick, then usually I'll go with vanilla, because chocolate doesn't really look like something I would want to lick off of Mario's chubby Italian sausage. What? What the fuck? What? Watch your goddamn fucking shitty language, Mario! I'm not gonna fucking tell you again! What are you talking about? Everybody has been cussing and saying things that are even worse. Don't talk back, bitch. This is my show. Okay, this is the last round of questions. Let's go back to Peach. <laughs> Princess Peach's last question is from Funny Koala 22. Their question is, Peach, why are you so selfish? Okay, first of all, Funny Koala 22, you're not fucking funny, and I bet you're not even a fucking 22-year-old koala. And if I wanted to be selfish, then I could be, because I'm goddamn royalty. Um, okay, what's the Green Mario's last question? <laughs> Luigi's last question is from Mario Bros. Fan 1000. They say, question to Luigi, you're my fave cast. You're the best, and you're better than Mario. Oh, well, thank you. But that's not a fucking question, and I can't even use correct grammar or spelling. Pick a different question. Okay. <laughs> Vicky Richardson asks, Luigi, you're awesome. Oh, I appreciate that. Vicky Richardson didn't ask anything. <laughs> Michael Hurt says, Luigi needs to beat the shit out of Mario. That's a definitely not a fucking question. <laughs> the one says, hey, Luigi, please beat the fuck out of Mario. I, um... Uh, what the hell? That's still not a question. Well, they said please. That's good enough. Luigi, answer the question. I don't want to beat up Mario. He's my brother. I love him. You were gonna even beat me if you tried. Okay, let's hurry up and get done with Mario's turn. <laughs> <laughs> this question's from me, Sarfoa. They ask, Mario is a huge jerk and Mr. Bossy Pants and go on a diet. Are you kidding me? These aren't f***ing questions, and they aren't random, Toad. This block randomly generates fewer comments, Mario. I don't know what you're talking about, but we'll try one more time since you're crying like a little baby who just shot in their diaper. <laughs> Luigi and April ask, why is Mario so f***ing mean? I hate him! That question isn't even directed to me. This is bullshit. Well, it's a question, and it has your name in it. Moving on. Ugh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Shy Guy's last question is from Sabrina Reyes. Sabrina says to Shy Guy, have you ever been in a straight relationship before? Um, I, I don't understand the question. Like, I think she's asking, have you ever been in a straight relationship? Oh, straight, like an erect penis. Uh, no, Shy Guy. Straight as in heterosexual. The viewer wants to know, have you ever been in a heterosexual relationship? I am not quite understanding what they're asking. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, moving on. Now it's time for Triple Toad Try Question Tastic Time, where I answer three questions you all ask me. Ooh, did anybody ask me a question? No, Toadette. Nobody asked you a fucking question. This is my fucking show. Go back into your place. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Please, can we hurry this up? I'm on my period and we don't want to see a bloody peach. It's not pretty. Trust me, it's not. Why don't you go stick a fucking plunger down your throat so I can plunge out all your insides and then make you eat them, shit them out, and then eat them again? Ooh, sounds freaky. It's my fucking time. Toadette, hit the damn cube. <laughs> Antonio asks, Hey, Toad, if you find a Mega Mushroom, what would you do? I think that you should step on Mario. Hmm. If I found a Mega Mushroom, rather than stepping on Mario, I think I'd eat a bunch of Mexican food, get sick, have a big mega-sized vomit shower over Mario to get him nice and looped up to sit on until just half of him is inside of me head first. Then I'd eat some more Mexican food that's just spicy while Mario watches my food digest onto his face from the inside. You know, nothing elaborate. I haven't really thought about it. What, what the hell is wrong with you, Toad? Next question. <laughs> this question's from Howard Eum. They say, hey, Toad, how old are you and why is your voice so awesome? Well, you only get one question, greedy Howard. But I am out of 
years old, and my voice is so awesome because I gargle every day with toenail clippings and mayonnaise. All right, last question. <laughs> Ultimate Pink Brownie says, Toad, why is your voice so annoying and loud? LOL. <laughs> okay, well, Ultimate Pink Brownie, I was just told by Howard that my voice is so awesome. If you want to see something annoying and loud, I can pull down my diaper to show you my Ultimate Pink Brownie. Ooh, I want to see. Okay, that's all the time that we have for today. Tell me what you thought of everyone's responses. Do you have any questions for these losers that you want answered next time? If so, leave a question in the comment section below. And if you don't have any questions for these bozos, stay tuned for next time because we're going to have some brand new guests that are eager to answer all your questions. Join us for when Wario, Waluigi, Bowser, and Wendy come onto the show. Until then, stay pickled, soured, and lubed up. Make sure you're following facebook.com slash insert and twitter.com slash insert tweets for updates and such. You can also post your questions there if you like. Share the video with your friends if you really enjoyed it. Even if you didn't, just share the video with your friends. It'll give them a disease. And I love getting thumped, so don't forget to press the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you know whenever there's a new fucked up video for you to get your brain fucked with. Seriously, it's really gross. Check out some other disturbing videos while you wait for new ones. Cheese Whiz tends to come out of my nipples whenever I eat cheese puffs. When you massage my head, I get excited. Either one of my heads, my mushroom head or my pee.